Mama Cat. George? Hello, my sniffers. I have really good news for you today. We have another Favorites Friday. I bet you're really excited to see what it is, but first, let me introduce to you my little Picasso. He's my mustache parakeet. Right, baby? He might fly away in the middle of this video. I guess I'm just gonna have to be okay with it. Now check this out, guys. If you watch my Instagram story, you'll know that Picasso has a tent. And he loves his tent. Birds really like tents because it gives them a chance to kind of go in and be in their hut and hang out. And some birds actually like to sleep in their tent, so that's always cute too. And I got sent a really cute tent from Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom. Before we get into the tent, Picasso flew away, and because I always have to have a little birdie with me, we have Cody now. Picasso left because he wanted to hang out with Jersey. Oh my god, they just don't love me today. Now, if you haven't seen Austin the Umbrella Cockatoo on Instagram, you'll definitely have to follow him. He's a beautiful cockatoo. But when you follow him, you will realize that he has his own product named after him, Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the first product that has come out for Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom. This is the birdie tent. If you don't have a tent for your bird, you're seriously missing out. It's so exciting, it's so cute, and you've probably seen videos of my Picasso in his tent. He really gets excited to go in there. He doesn't sleep in there, he just kinda hangs out in there and then gets all like territorial over it. He doesn't really engage in nesting behavior in there, but I do put toys in there for him to play with and he really, really enjoys it. Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom tents come in two sizes. I did not put together this tent yet because I want to show it to you. <laughs> He's laughing. I want to show you how easy it is to put together. So this is kind of what it looks like flat. This is how it arrives, so it's really simple. And it's very easy to put together, so we're gonna do that together. Let me give you a few details. I don't know how big this looks on camera, but this is a very, very small tent. Right now, the tent comes in two sizes. This is small, and this is large. I'm gonna tell you what kind of birds will fit in each tent, because it's important that you know before you buy it. This tent is really small. It's probably best for a bird that's the size of a budgie. I think budgies would really enjoy this tent. I also want to let you guys know that there's no fluffiness in here. So there's no dangerous fibers that your bird can chew up. So if you see your bird chewing the synthetic fibers of the cozy corners, just be really, really careful with that. I'm not saying that all birds swallow them, but they have been known to get themselves injured or die from those fibers. But there are many birds birds that happily live and sleep in those things all the time, like mango for example. This tent, although it looks a lot bigger on camera, Picasso is a little too big for this tent. Not in size, but because Picasso has a large tail. So how do I know this product is good if Picasso doesn't fit in it? Well, I took this straight over to Mango and gave him the tent. I know that Mango loves to hang out in tents and he already has his own thing. So I was really interested to see if he would enjoy it because of course, before I made a review for you guys, I want it to be legit. I want to know that a bird wanted to go and hang out in here and see everything that I could about the products because ultimately I want to be very honest with you guys. Now what's interesting about the way Mango's owners used it is they actually did use this chain to hang it. Picasso's tent just sits on top of the cage, so I wouldn't have even thought to hang it, but they hung the tent up. They texted me a picture and said, Mango loves it. I was like, really? I want to see. So they sent me some video. Well, I went over there a few days later and Mango was really enjoying this. He was possessive over it. He was excited. He was sleeping in it. He was playing in it. He would come out of it and up and down. And it was really safe. It was hanging. It wasn't falling. It didn't have too much movement. He felt really comfortable in there. Hey, Mango. Is that your spot? Is that where you're going to sleep?
but if you do have a ring neck or a mustache parakeet or a princess what yeah what he says, why don't you mention me? Or any other parrots with a long tail. This size may be a little too small for your bird. I just gotta be honest. But I spoke to Austin's companion boss and he said he is going to start making bigger ones. He wants to test it out with the small bird market first and just see how the birdies like it. Now, judging by how Mango played in it and enjoyed it really quickly, I'd say that your birds are going to like it as well. Now, just because I know a little bit about Austin's companion Hector from our chats, let me give you some updates on Hector. I hope this is okay with you, Hector. Hector recently lost his job, so he decided to take a chance on something that he's passionate about. And he had recently got Austin after doing a ton of research. Austin is an umbrella cockatoo, by the way, and decided that Austin would be his companion. Well, of course, you know how that goes. You get a bird and he becomes your best friend for life and you become motivated and passionate about your bird. So him and his family make these by hand and they just wanted a fresh new start trying this out. So I'm helping them out by doing a review and an honest review for you guys. That's why I'm telling you that this is too small for Picasso, but it's amazing for Mango. So if you guys have a conure, I think you'll be all good. You guys are probably wondering how to put it together. So let's do this little one. It's very, very simple. You have these little tubes. What I do, I skip the first one. Sorry guys, sometimes I'm like really awkward handed. Like I wanna be really smooth and put this together. And what do you want? You wanna come on my shoulder? Okay, so you put it through the holes. Now, I kinda made this mistake the first time. This piece that holds the hook, you put it through there. First I only put one through there. I don't know why I did that. What do you want this? Does this look exciting to you? Oh, it looks exciting to you and you don't fit in it. By the way, Hector told me that he's going to be making bigger ones for bigger birds because his own bird is huge and doesn't fit in it. I told him that for sure, bigger birds will pancake this and flatten it. So he's gonna make a product where this is on the inside for the larger birds, which I think will work exceptionally well. These are the bottom ones. So you put this through here. If I'm doing this slow, it's because Cody. And then now I go back to the first one and put it in there. And then you do the same thing for the other side. Cody, I thought I was gonna be like awkward handed before, and now you make me. So that's half of it. And then you do the same thing for the other side. This should be a little bit easier. You put it through one, the next one. Why are you so interested in this stick? And then you put this second piece also through the top hole. Cody, like seriously, Cody really wants us. Oh my God, no, Cody, you don't understand. I This is a giveaway, by the way. <laughs> Cody, whoever gets this, Giveaway, I'm so sorry. They're getting it with this tag a little bit destroyed. I'm so sorry, Hector, but like you should know that the colors on this are great. Cody's already excited about it. Cody, I'm serious. Cody like wants this, so there's no reason why your bird is not gonna love it. Should be a demo of how easy this is to do it. It's easy, it's just not easy. No, no, baby, we can't eat the tags. Come on, come on. I'm sorry. Anyway, hey guys, you're getting like an official signature. <laughs> you're getting an official Cody Yate the tag signature. Okay, it won't take you this long to put it together unless you have a really excited bird. So that's how easy it is to put together. Look, I missed one. I missed one, but you guys get the point. I mean, you see how hard that was. Cody loves the colors. He wants to play with it. So Hector, you gotta make one for the size of this guy. He would love it, love it, love it. So this is the product. You have got to try it out. I will put the link below to the Amazon. I think your birds will not go wrong with it. By the way, you don't have to hang it. You can put it flat. And sometimes I put toys in there for my birds. So that's something that you can absolutely do. Guess what? We are going to do a giveaway. I have three of them to give away. So there's going to be three winners. I have two small ones and one large one for some lucky winners today. So here's what you have to do to try and win this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Shouldn't have showed it to Cody. Look at what I am dealing with right now. A really, really eager bird. Please, Hector, make a bigger one for Cody in this exact pattern, because apparently it's really exciting to him. And one of you are going to be winning this exact one. So, how do we win the giveaway? Well, I have four very easy steps for you guys. First thing, you must be subscribed to my channel. I mean, I hope that's an easy step. I hope you've done that already and you don't even have to worry about that step. Second step is, you gotta follow me on Instagram, at Marlene McCohen. You're already following me, right? I hope. Oh my God, Cody. But here is something you might not be doing already and you should. I want you to follow Austin the Umbrella Cockatoo on Instagram. I will put that information below. And then I want you to Instagram a picture of your beautiful birdie with the hashtag Austin's Parrot Toy Kingdom. And tell us why you think your birdie would love a beautiful tent because I really do think this is one of the more beautiful tents. Look at Cody eyeing it. Do you guys see Cody eyeing it? He's like been obsessed with this thing ever since I brought it out. So those are the little things that you need to do. And then I'm sure Hector himself will help me choose who had the best reason for their bird needing a tent. Of course, not everybody can win, but I do want you guys to go out and support and check out his tents. That's what we do to fellow parrot owners. We check out their stuff, right baby? Yeah. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Favorites Friday. If you have a product that you want me to review, I'll put the information down below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to me. Follow me on Instagram, at Marlene McCohen. Of course, follow Austin the Umbrella Cockatoo. You won't be sorry. I hope that it's you that wins this wonderful tent today. Thank you guys so much. Bye.